Approaching women is something that most men struggle with. And the most common way that people deal with this is by consuming large amounts of alcohol in order to build some liquid courage. Yet sometimes this isn't even enough. And wouldn't it be better to actually be able to approach women in any given environment and not rely on alcohol to do this? In this video, I'm gonna give you a few things to think about when it comes to actually speaking and approaching women so that you can practice this skill and implement it into your everyday life. The first issue I see men making is putting women on a pedestal. By a girl being attractive, you put her in a higher regard and this instantly messes with your mind because in your brain you feel like you need to raise your levels to impress her. Yet she could be the most boring and uninteresting person that you've ever met in your life, but because she has a pretty face and a nice ass, you see yourself as inferior. So it's okay to find a girl attractive, but don't put her above you just because of how she looks. Believe it or not, she is a human just like yourself, so if you interact with her like a human, well then you're probably doing better than 95% of men already. Do not reject yourself before she even does it by telling yourself that you're not good enough or by saying she won't want to talk to me anyway, so what's the point? You will have a 100% success rate rejecting yourself where I guarantee that you will not be rejected by 100% of women. Another common problem guys will face is not knowing how to actually initially approach a girl. They are confident that when they actually start getting talking, they'll be all right, but it's just that initial anxiety and apprehension and you're trying to think of the best way to approach them. And I will tell you this right now, there is no best way to approach a girl. But I will give you a few things that I do like to do personally and the things that I like to consider. And the first being the environment you're in. I would recommend approaching women in an environment where if worst case scenario, they just wanna walk away from the conversation, they can actually do this. So an example of this would be perhaps in a bar or you know a nightclub where she could go to the other side of the nightclub and just chill with her mates or even out and about on the streets. Whereas somewhere that she needs to visit regularly or she can't leave, such as the gym or her workplace, you don't wanna be approaching them in these environments. So I'll give you an example. Let's say that you're in a restaurant and that you find the waiter that you're serving particularly attractive. You pluck up the courage and you shoot your shot, but for some reason, she's not interested in you, or perhaps you know she's already got a partner, then you've instantly made this situation 10 times more awkward than it needed to be. She cannot physically leave the situation because it is her job and she has to be nice to you. Not only are you getting a full sense of reality, you've also put her in a situation where you've made her feel uncomfortable probably for the rest of the night. So please consider the environment that you're actually approaching the girls beforehand so that you can increase your chances as well as not actually making them feel awkward. Now the last thing I wanna leave you on is a couple of examples of how I initiate the conversation. Now one thing I like to do is actually ask a question about the environment you're in. For example, you might be sitting in a bar and there's some girls sitting on the table next to you and you might just say, hey, I've not been in this bar before, do you know what time it closes? Or maybe she's got a drink in her hand and you could approach her and say, hey, you know, I'm looking to try something new to drink tonight, what have you got there? By asking something about the environment, you're instantly putting her at ease and not feeling like you're just hitting on her straight away and you can kind of gauge what her interest is. A bit like in football, you know, you don't want to just be going route one, pump it up to the striker. You want to pass the ball around the back, keep possession and then see where you can find gaps and opportunities. And now, if you wanted to go with a compliment, you need to compliment something that she's actually done, not something that she's born with. So rather than saying, hey, I couldn't notice how pretty your eyes were because every guy already says this to her. Instead say something like, hey, sorry to interrupt your night, but I just wanted to say how well your outfit is put together. Of course, if you're gonna go for something like this, try not to do it in a creepy way where you just go, oh my God, your tits in that dress look absolutely unbelievable while you're looking straight at them and not even looking at her. Women will value these compliments more because A, they don't hear them as often and B, you know, is something that they've actually had to physically do and make a choice on rather than something that they're born with and that they just hear all the time. Approaching women is an uncomfortable thing to do for all guys to begin with, but you know how you like to preach about how you like to be pushed out of your comfort zone? Well then you actually need to prove this and start getting in the reps to get better at this skill like you would anything else. And remember that rejection is a lot worse than regret. So bear this in mind when you're on the fence, oh, should I approach this girl or should I not? Being rejected is a lot better than regretting not speaking to them.